All right, so I have these two equally spaced blocks here. We're gonna uh, set the x-axis. So we're gonna disable the stepper motors, right? So now, as you can see, I can move the Z up and down, right? So the heavier end you wanna do first, right? So we're just going to push it down. Till it's snug all right and then this end you can see the difference in the two huge difference this is going to cause a lot of issues with your prints so what you're going to do is you're going to turn your axis down to whatever your other block is so I'm just going to go like that, boom, boom. So they're both equally snug. This one I could probably snug up a bit. Got the two blocks, right? You're gonna go back here and on your screen, you're gonna hit leveling and then you're going to take the blocks out and it's going to go back to your center origin your BL touch is going to find your Z that's set if you have to adjust it you can adjust it just let it calibrate itself all right so now your menu looks like this. As you can see, those are the 16 points on your bed. Tell you the difference. What we're gonna do is take a piece of paper. Try to make it go underneath. It does not go underneath, so is that up? Way too easy, set down. I push it twice, too much friction. We just want it to snug on the paper, too much. Perfect, so once you get it, push that home. Oh, we do the level test, remove the paper so you don't trip that this touch sensor up. Okay, should be set, it should be golden now. Perfect. So then, you're gonna go here, don't go to measure, that's, the, you're gonna go to auxiliary leveling. Where it lands here doesn't matter, so it's gonna have a gap on the bottom. Don't let that fool you, like, it doesn't go back to Z. You're gonna come here though, and you're gonna hit two. So it's gonna go to this front corner. We're gonna bed level this. See, look, look how there's a there's an issue here, so I'm gonna turn it accordingly to raise it. Then we're gonna go to four. So hit the you're gonna go kitty corner instead of side to side. 
way fewer steps, way more accurate. Take it from me. Any cubics made me hate bed leveling. The fact that this is automatic is a breeze. Again, mine's super high. So we're gonna raise it up. It's hard to push back and forth, so I'm gonna lower it a bit. Too easy. Perfect. Now we're gonna go here. We're gonna hit three. We're coming up front, front right. Again, super high. Perfect, back and forth, what we want. We're gonna go to five. Again, whoa. Raise her up a bit. Perfect. Back to two. You don't care about one because you've already set one. So because this is moving on this axis, everything will be fine. So now that we're back, We're gonna go back underneath. So here I'm just gonna cheat, go underneath. Going back to four now. So two, four, three, five, and then two, four, three, five. Do it in those orders. Usually what I'll do is when I travel it, I'll put the paper under before so I don't like as you can see This isn't really a smooth piece of paper anymore still does what it needs to do So I'll try to get it underneath So I'd cycle two four three five at least twice and do that So we're gonna go go back now and You can you can do the auto level here So you'll see the DL touch, touching the points. I'll do this 16 points as per the grid on here. Sorry about the light. Now, if you find that you try to Z home it and you're not getting it properly because the touch isn't reading. It's because there's not enough tension on the probe and the touch, that little tiny finger that comes down. So what you want to do is in the top right here, there's an Allen key in the center, that black part. So go counter or go clockwise and that'll tighten it. They'll put the pressure on it and you'll read it. Uh, it should be factory set, but I have had to adjust them. So it's not that difficult. I uh, hope that helps. Let me know if you have any questions.